Although the chemistry lab can be a very exciting and interesting place to work, it can also be dangerous and even deadly if proper precautions are not taken. Most laboratory hazards can be averted by common sense and being aware of your surroundings. Always pay attention to what you are doing and be conscientious of your peers. Since your eyes are such a valuable and vulnerable part of your body, protecting them is very important, especially while working in conditions and with chemicals that could cause permanent damage. All students must wear approved eye protection in the laboratory. Your instructor will let you know whether or not your safety gear is suitable for class. Safety goggles that fit to form a seal around your eyes give excellent protection. Acid or base splatters can come from any angle at any time. You may not be performing an experiment, but your neighbors may be. Eyeglasses do not provide protection, so wear adequate protection over them. If you wear contact lenses, make this apparent to others around you by the use of a small piece of red tape on the side of your goggles. Do not wear goggles on top of your head or around your neck because this gives you no protection for your eyes at all. You may find safety glasses unattractive and uncomfortable, but consider the alternative, a life without the use of your eyes. Your skin may get damaged in a chemical accident, but your eyes will be saved by your eye protection. You should come to lab wearing proper clothing. You must wear a lab coat that covers your knees, long pants, not shorts, and closed-toed shoes. Flip-flops and sandals should not be worn in the lab because your feet will be exposed to chemicals, broken glass, and other harmful materials that may be on the floor or fall to your feet, so you need shoes and clothing that offer proper protection. Long hair can interfere with experiments and are also dangerous around flames. If your hair can obscure your vision, secure your hair out of the way with a rubber band, headband, burette, or cap. Wear gloves of the proper size and wash your hands after every use. Some of the chemicals are able to penetrate the glove and get into your skin. Some experiments will require gloves made of a different material. Your instructor will alert you if different gloves will be needed. Do not wear your gloves or lab coat outside of the lab, even to the restroom. They may be contaminated with chemicals which could leave harmful residues and can affect you and other unsuspecting people. Even if you do not work with chemicals that day, you should always wash your hands before you leave the lab. Residue from past experiments may be present on countertops, stools, glassware, and other surfaces, so do not assume anything is clean. You may not be able to tell if something is clean or not just by looking at it. Be sure to clean up all spills immediately and inform your instructor or lab tech. If you have an acid spill, use sodium bicarbonate or baking soda to neutralize it. Wipe all surfaces down thoroughly before leaving your work area. Due to the use of flammable chemicals and heat sources such as Bunsen burners, hot plates, and heating mantles in the laboratory, it is important to understand what preventative measures should be taken to avoid a fire outbreak and what should be done in the case one does occur. In order to avoid injury from laboratory fires, always wear snug fitting clothing and lab coats when working in the lab. If your clothing does catch fire for any reason, immediately stop what you are doing, drop to the floor, and roll. A classmate should simultaneously retrieve the fire blanket and tightly wrap the burning area to smother the flames. If a fire should break out in a glass container, put a lid over the mouth of the container in order to smother the flames. If a fire breaks out in the laboratory and it is safe to do so, retrieve the fire extinguisher from its location in the front of the lab. Remove the pin and slowly depress the handle while aiming at the base of a fire. And remember, 
If a fire in the laboratory is out of control, immediately activate the fire alarm and evacuate through the closest, safest exit. If any fire breaks out during the lab, make sure your instructor is notified immediately. Hood 